Sports Desk. I'm Alan Partridge, and it's a special desk of sport now as we look back on some of the sporting highlights of the last sporting season. So lie down, relax, and let the sports commence. When it's cycling championships you're after, you can't say fairer than the Tour de France. Di Brandau there in the lead, swaying from side to side in his own inimitable bike riding way. Klaus been there on the inside, pumping away with his with those gristle-like muscly legs inside the those tight lycra shorts, which have become his trademark. And I don't know what this man is playing at. There's no way. Surely the judges must come down like a ton of bricks on that. Carrying bikes on top of a car is not a sportsmanlike way to run this race. You join me in the helicopter now as we look down on these cyclists that look somehow like cattle in a mad way, but cattle on bikes. And there, Sven Gunsen, closely followed by his great friend and teammate Klaus Finn. And the man with the bikes on his car is, yes, he's disqualified, as I said. And uh, Klaus Spin there wins, riding non-handed. No need for that. It was a belter of a season for athletics. 1,500 metres there, cram. And uh, not a lot happening, quite uh, unremarkable. Oh, good, someone's fallen. Uh, it's Peter Elliott, yes. He's down, Peter Elliott, no relation to the late uh, Denham. And come on, Pete, back on your feet. You can catch up with them. No, no, he can't be bothered. And it was upsets all the way in the dive championships. Greg Lagani, down, double back twister, bangs his head in it, textbook, lovely. Let's see it again. He points down, up in the air, double back twister, comes down, bangs his head on the board and in. Lovely. The judges surely will give him high marks for that. But for my money, the best punches were being pulled this season in the boxing ring. Boxer, as he's affectionately known to me. Thank goodness, actually, they're wearing gloves because I've witnessed bare knuckle boxing in a barn in Somerset about three years ago. And it was a sorry sight to see men goading them on in uh, such a barbaric fashion. And I'm rather ashamed to say I was party to that goading. And uh, two men fighting, as I saw in the barn that night, naked as the day they were born, and fighting the way God intended. Wrestling at points. I don't know if you've seen Women in Love, the marvellous scene by the fire. It uh, kind of resembled that. They're closing in on him. They keep bringing him down. Let him go. He's saying, get out of the way. I want to play some rugby. Get him! Hit him! Hit him! Right, then the ball's out to West. To Kenny. Kenny's broken through. Yes, he's running. He's clear. He's saying, look at me. Look at me. I've got the ball. I've got the ball. Can you get me? No. I'm going to score. He's scoring a try. He scored. He scored a try. And what a magnificent moment as he just ran through there and said, oh, you're not going to get me. I've got the ball. Novelty bubble on the inside. Novelty bubble followed by Immaculate Pasta. Christ's chin coming up on the inside, followed by Abba the Horse and Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon. Coming up the rear, Sinead O'Connor. But Novelty Bobble is holding his own with Immaculate Pasta. Christ's chin! Christ's chin! Abba the Horse on the inside. Small Town Gypsy Massacre gaining ground, closely followed by Epileptic Fridge Boy. And Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon breaking through there. Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon. Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon. Sinead O'Connor, third. But uh, no, it seems to me that Christ's Chin and Astonishing Bomb Queen are nowhere because it's Small Town Gypsy Massacre, Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon, Sinead O'Connor. No, Christ's chin one. I got confused. I'm Alan Partridge, and this is Golfing Action. Seve Ballesteros, the bullfighter. That's what I call him. No, uh, technically, he's a professional golfer. A friend of mine said recently, uh, what do you get if you cross a ballerina and a bastard? Ballesteros was his answer. I guess... You analyse it that Seve combines the qualities of both those animals. He has the lithe sophistication and nimbleness of a ballerina, combined with the hard nosed, ruthless thuggery of a bastard. I'm Alan Partridge, and that was my sporting season. Why don't you join me for another one? Join 